Alright, so this is a quick video on how to modify the SGM Tactical Sega 12 magazines to fit the Catamount Fury 2 um, with the Magwell. Basically, if you have a Catamount Fury with this style of Magwell, which is the Fury 2, it comes with that Magwell pre-installed on there. Um, you'll be able to uh, modify your Sega 12 mags to fit the Catamount Fury 2. And that's basically what I'm just showing you here. It takes about five minutes. Real easy to do. Um, you just got to be careful not to take too much off so you don't get all a little bit of Magwell wobble in, or mag wobble in your, in your uh, Magwell. But again, this is a uh, Sega 12 magazine by S SGM Tactical. Uh, you can see their little logo there. Made in the USA. Let's see. Right there. And again, this is their 12 round mag. I believe I got this off of um, Carolina Shooter Supply, which is uh, made right here in South Carolina. Um, I think these things range from 30 bucks to about 50 bucks, depending on who you get it from, how much you pay for shipping, and all that good stuff. Carolina Shooter Supply was real good about. Uh, shipping it out real quick for me. That's where I get all my uh, Sega 12 parts and they've get, even got a uh, Conversion trigger kits for the uh, catamounts now so you can do your catamount fury or your fury 2 if you wanted to do the uh, Pistol grip conversion. I recommend checking out what they've got but uh, again what I was what I was talking about on the Sega 12 mags adapting them to fit your catamount fury 2 um, basically, they come with this little catch for inside your magwell, and there would normally be one on the back, just like this one. This one has been untouched, and uh, I've seen some people talk about taking these ribs down a little bit to fit inside of the uh, Catamount Furies, but I didn't have to shave mine at all. It fit, it fit fine in there without me taking any material off of anywhere on this magazine except for right here. Um, basically, it was a, a lip that stuck out right there, just like the back side. You can see it kind of protrudes. And what I did was I just took a, uh, like a rasp file and sanded this lip down. And you can still see it has a little bit of material left on there. And I kind of wanted that because it keeps a nice snug fit in the magwell. And uh, basically, yeah, all I do is just shave that down. You can kind of see... See if I can get it to focus. There we go. Well, maybe. Well, needless to say, I just shaved this lip down just a little bit at a time. And uh, each time I would take it and kind of take a little material off, put it again in the magwell, see if I could work it in there until I got it to where it slid in easily and locked into place just like the factory Catamount Fury mags. Um, with the Sega 12 mags, you, you're last round bolt hold open will not function with these because the uh, mag followers don't come up high enough but they do work great in the gun they function um, I didn't have any you know failures with uh, shells chambering so the angle is right on the rounds as they are going into the gun and uh, before I end the video I will just show you that they pop in just like the Catamount Fury 2 mags so basically you would stick it in the mag well kind of give it a little bit of a wiggle and Boom, it locks into place. And as you can see, there's very little wobble whatsoever on these magazines. And they look pretty awesome on the gun. I can't really get it far enough back, but there you go. But just something to something to know that even though you can't find the uh, Catamount Fury 10-round mags, or the Fury 2 10-round mags, you can mod the Sega 12 mags to lock in and cycle just fine in this gun. I appreciate it guys and I'll see y'all in the next video.